All right, y'all. This is a another episode of Double Dunn's Garage. Um, I'm in here today. When I opened this up, it was completely full of water from here, from here, all the way to the back there. Um, two inches. So not cool. So I told the carpet just basically disintegrated as I pulled it up. I uh, wet dry backed it out. Um, it's rained a couple times. We did see a little leak right here, but we're still trying to figure out exactly where the leak is. Hopefully Thursday we'll be able to find a good source of the leak. Okay. Um, so right now basically I'm scrubbing it, scraping, you know, scraping all this up. I'm trying to get all this out. Pulling it with my hands. And that's kind of what I'm doing. A little bit of a chore. So anyway, I'm gonna scrape it, get it scrubbed down real good, wire wire wheel it, and then clean it from there, and then probably line X these sections and the middle this this middle paint looks good the outer edge paint looks okay and the back looks good there and there but um in here along the line but you know I'm gonna maybe line X these paint them maybe rust protect them there's two no I'm sorry three holes um, over there somewhere one there and one around the middle tiny pinholes um, I went through the entire thing with a really sharp uh, sharp pick and those are the only holes I found and one of them was already cocked up with like uh, well caulking so I think it was factory so I'm not worried about that one the other one was actually a rust hole in the back here so it literally rusted through and the other one is factory too but I'm not going to use it so I'm going to weld up or plate all three of them and that's all. No rust holes over here. Nothing like that. Um, so yeah, I gotta fix the floor. Uh, I've, I've been using these dryers from Dollar Tree. And they've been drying out the car real good. Um, because you used to have a lot of moisture up along here. Stuff like that. Um, and I, I got the seats all in the back there. Um... Anyway, that's what's going on with her. I the exhaust is doing good on this. I went ahead and bolted the, the toolbox down. It's nice and solid. I didn't think you needed to see that. Who cares? Um, oh, I got a spare tire for it. Um, spare 35. So that's cool. There's all the old exhaust still in the back. Yeah, I know. Whatever. I'm going to actually cut these off. Um, those look like they'll fit my current header uh, excuse, my current header collectors. I'm thinking about keeping those, keeping the flanges and keeping the, you know, the three inches or two inches of uh, um, pipe right there. Just for the heck of it. Just because it looked good. Dwight is... He's in there, but what Dwight's doing is he's just doing some general maintenance to the truck, tightening down the valve covers. He found that every last one was loose. Um, tying down just everything, just checking all the bolts in general. He's been leaking and I can tell it's leaking a little bit here. Um, he might need to change the valve covers, but for right now, you know, it is what it is. And he needs to change the master cylinder. I'll show you a video of that too. It's leaking back here behind, in between the hydraulic assist brake and the master cylinder. So it's leaking brake fluid. Um, yeah, we need to fix that. Um, otherwise than that, I don't think there's much else to talk about still haven't cleaned the grill 
We've been pretty lazy. Well, actually, we mowed our yard. Let me mowed here. You know, not really lazy, but I've been working on other projects. Kind of have to get our house cleaned up and looking pretty. So, yeah. Just checking out our cleaner. It's one thing you can do, folks, is if you want to know how if your air cleaner is clean, get it up in the sunshine and look straight through it. That is something you can do. And he, he, if he's looking through it and you see sunshine through it, that's generally pretty clean. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see in the in the camera, but that's easy way to tell. If it's if you see sunshine through it, it's still usable. Let's see a few spots. Of Uh, rest of that Phillips. Okay, here it is. Have you ever have one that you can't break loose? Um, get a hammer and put the screwdriver in, pound on it. It should break up. Should break loose. I've done that several times on this car. Is that it? Yeah, that's the front of it. Oh, I think that is it. Maybe. 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 Like goes all the way up here. Yeah, it tucks in. Oh, that tucks in. Ah, there we go. Yay! Pretty good condition. Carpet, wet carpet. Um, I don't see any mice or anything inside the little cubby hole. Remember when we did the fan? I still got to go in there and replace that fan, or or move it so the vent will work. So I got to go back up underneath the thing. I've scraped so far all that. I noticed some more rust holes right there. Sorry, I burped. There, there. Thought there was one here. Huh. Sort of there was one there somewhere. Well, a little bit more work. Just gotta see what Dwight's doing. Shh. Sneak up on him. I'm just taking my jack stuff off the board. Oh, really? Cool. It's removing the stuff that you don't use anymore. Yeah, just gonna, just got rid of this crap. He has a floor jack in the back. So. Just got rid of that stuff. Oh, cool. I'm just going to keep it for brackets. And kind of strip, stripping the engine bay down so you have a nice clean, clean. clean look. I tied all the valve covers up and tied the carburetor up and stuff like that. Cool. And Tighten up the. I got replaced to replace this this month. Cool. We got to still finish off this bracket. This is a bracket I built when I did the timing chain on this, and I want to go from here down back down to this bolt. So I have a triangle, and maybe even go like over to here. Have it like a three system, three bolt triangle system. Anyway, you know. Future things. Right now, it actually holds together Flow pretty Master well. Flowmaster sitting in the garage. Yep. Flowmaster. Those are going to have to be taken in and welded in. I think. Yeah, I think so too. On this one, because these are welded in as it is. This is broken on this side oh. right here. Right here is the right oh. line. And the pump thing is broken. Oh yeah. So I got to take this off and get a new uh, new pump for right here. Okay. Otherwise, it works. 
Okay, cool. And I gotta take this off because it doesn't work, but I gotta go down here and lock this one on this vacuum canister off so I can take this off and get this out here too. <laughs> Bunch of little stuff that we it is not used it's, anymore. It's that it's that uh the smog evap emissions. Yeah, smog control evap whatever crap it is. Yeah, this needs to be get rid of. But this has a le factory electric fan. If you didn't notice when we did last video, factory electric fan in it. Yeah. It's got a uh, relay and everything. Very interesting. I think I want to switch up to double. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. But sometime this summer, I want to pull that all back apart and get the AC. The AC. <laughs> that might help a lot. I mean, actually, just this, this truck doesn't. Heat no, up. Had, it, yeah, when the fan is on in the front, which it's always running, there's no there's no sensor thing. But when it's always running, it's never cold, never yeah, hot. Yeah, It'd be a hundred out here, and it'll it's fine. But my AC is no longer. There's so a fill filter. Yeah, I know, I know. Air cleaner fill that filter. It looks pretty clean. Yeah, it needs to be replaced off. Yeah. Air cleaner fill filter, PC valve, and plugs, and cap. And yeah, the size of that stinking. A, I mean, alternator bracket. Good grief. I freaking take that thing off and Billy Club. The, Billy Club was, the, was it. Wasn't the AC thing? No, the air pump was down below. It had, used to have AC? an air pump. AC was over right here. over here where we fabricated the old bracket. So, but it seems like there was something. An air pump. Yeah, but that was down below. Was yeah. It? I don't know what was. Maybe there's something well, in the middle. I have no idea. Oh, this is where this bolted. Oh, this yeah, yeah, bolted yeah, yeah. up that right that there. bolted over there. Yeah, that's right. And we moved it over there. Yeah, we moved it over there. Yeah, yeah, because it used to stick out. Okay, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. We relocated that yeah. over there. Okay. Yep. I think. I don't know. That's possible. I wonder if we can get a non a small A small one. I'm sure you can. A non Buy one off an older engine. Yeah, awesome. an older engine or something yeah. like that. Well, I'm not going to do too much no. until we get our vehicle and yeah. family. Yeah, yeah, But it needs a tune up here. Right yep. Fast. Okay. Got our battery charger working again. I, oh, uh, replaced a battery on my car. Had a bad battery. <laughs> New value power is in there. Walmart special. Um, oh, did you find, what? Oh, that's for no, your no, truck. Fine. Uh, oh, that's yours. I was I like, wait, what? <laughs> that's right, it won't I'm fit. I'm not sure what, what that one goes to, but it's, uh, no. it's brand new. Anyway, um, we're going to do another video on this tonight, actually, real quick. We'll uh, say, so I'm not going to say anything about that. We'll just do it in the other video. Been cleaning up the garage, getting ready for a garage sale this, this uh, week. Well, I'm going to do some art, so... I got a couple of cams, a couple of valve covers, a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, fans I'm not going to use. Might be sellable, I know. Um, old push rods. There's springs in here, um, and just a bunch of metal that's weldable. I'm not going to try to be. Artistic, okay. Try. It has a brand new storage in underground. <laughs> it's funny. We gotta get these tires out of here too. There's his other valve covers, his big tall, big block valve covers. And there's some small block Chevy valve covers. Yeah, we have a lot of crap. So, yeah. Sorry, there's no work in this, but uh, it's a short video. So, uh, like, subscribe, subscribe, and comment. This is Michael. Out of here. Bye.